six gold medals at Athens 2004, eight gold medals at Beijing 2008. What will Michael Phelps do in the swimming pool at London 2012? He's still the man to beat in the pool. Here on Game for Gold, we profile the greatest swimmer of all time. Hailed as a phenomena, revered as a marvel, saluted as the ultimate champion, Michael Phelps is undoubtedly the greatest swimmer ever. Stamping his supremacy on the sport at the 2008 Beijing Olympics, the 27-year-old American swam his way to history by pocketing an unprecedented eight golds to surpass Mark Spitz's 1972 record for the most gold medals at a single Olympics. Phelps was truly on a roll at the Beijing Games, destroying competition with sheer disdain as he emerged triumphant in each of the eight events he swam in. But what highlights his dominance at Beijing was the fact that seven of his eight golds were sealed with world records. After getting a go as a 15-year-old at the 2000 Sydney Games, Phelps' stunning wins at 2004 Athens and 2008 Beijing has earned him the tag of being one of the greatest Olympians of all time. But the mighty Michael is still far from done. With 16 Olympic medals in his kitty, Phelps has set his sights on surpassing Soviet gymnast Larissa Latniana's all-time record of 18 Olympic medals, ready to shine again come London 2012. I have goals that I want to accomplish. Um, you know, I, I know it won't be eight, gold or eight medals again. Um, you know, if you guys want to compare me to that, that's your decision, it's not mine. Um, but I'm going out there to try to accomplish the things that, that I have in, in my mind and in my heart. And, and um, you know, if I can do that and, and I can have fun, then that's really all that matters to me. To see Phelps return to the pool with reignited enthusiasm and belief has come as a major relief to the swimmers' legion of fans world over. Drained from the aftermath of the 2008 high and the 2009 drug abuse controversy, when he was caught on camera smoking marijuana, many feared Phelps might prematurely pull the plug on his successful career. But the charismatic champion is back in business, doing what he does best, hungry to rule once again. I think really after like 2008, I was just, I mean, I just didn't, I just didn't want to do it. You know, I just, you know, I, I knew deep down inside I wanted to, but it probably, you know, I, I probably just didn't want to put in the work. 2000, I guess 2009, that's how I was. 2010, that's kind of how I was. And then, you know, latter part of 2010, I kind of started, I don't know, showing more interest. And, and, and you know, I, it really was all about me being able to find the passion again. Blessed with the body set to rule the waters, the towering six foot three American will undoubtedly be one of the biggest attractions at the London Olympiad. And the buzz in the swimming fraternity is that the immortal Phelps could even be chasing a staggering 10 gold medals come the 30th Olympics. Once I hang my suit up, I want to be able to look back and say I've done everything I can in my career. And, and whether that's, you know, having 50 gold medals or having 16 total medals, you know, if I can say I've done everything I've wanted, I think that's really all that matters. The outstanding Olympian. American Michael Phelps' dominance in the pool is truly second to none. And with that splash, it's time for me to say goodbye on another episode of Game for Gold. Hope you enjoyed it. We're going to close the show today with a promise that we'll be back at the same time next week with another action-packed show. See you then. Bye for now.